In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to start dropshipping on eBay using a platform called AutoDS. And this is one of the best side hustles you can start right now to start bringing in some extra cash because it requires very little upfront investment. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your eBay account to the AutoDS platform, how to import products from AutoDS to your eBay account, and how to fulfill orders once a customer purchases from your eBay store. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you are going to want to do is create an AutoDS account. Now, if you use the link in the description, you can get a 30 day free trial to AutoDS. So once you click on the link in the description, you can click on pricing and then you can choose eBay. And from here, you will see the eBay pricing plans. And as you can see, it is a very affordable to get started. So you can just start with the import plan, which allows you to import up to 200 products with one store integration and many other features that you can go and check out. And if you always want to go and start importing some more products and start using unlimited stores, you can upgrade your AutoDS plan accordingly. Now, I already have an AutoDS plan, so all you need to do is click on Get Started, use your email to sign up and choose a password. But as I say, because I already have an AutoDS account, I'm simply going to click on sign in. Once you have signed up for and logged in to your AutoDS account, you will be prompted to connect your eBay store to your AutoDS account. Now, don't worry if you aren't prompted immediately, you can simply click on add store to add your eBay store to your AutoDS account. But we aren't going to do this right away because we are going to firstly create our eBay store. So you can just head over to Google and type in eBay business account and then click on the first link and it should look something like this. You can then simply scroll down on this page and click on create a business account. From here, you can create your eBay business account. So where it says create an account, you are going to choose business. And don't worry, you don't need to have a registered business to create an eBay business account. So you can choose your business name. This is just going to be the name that you want to call your eBay store. You are going to choose your business email. Again, you don't need to use a professional email address. You can simply use a Gmail or an Outlook. Choose a password and choose where your business is registered. So this is basically where you're based. So as you can see, there are a number of different countries that you can choose from. So it doesn't really matter which country you're located in. You can then simply click on create business account once you have filled this information out. Now, again, I already have an eBay business account, so I'm simply going to click on sign in. Once you are signed in to your eBay business account, the first thing that we are going to do is actually create a listing so we can get our eBay business account up and running before we connect it to AutoDS and start importing products. So where it says my eBay, you are going to come to selling. And the first thing you are going to do is add your payment method to your eBay account. So on the left hand side, you will see payments under overview. So just click on payments and on this page, just scroll down until you see selling costs and make sure that you have added a payment method for your selling costs. So that way, when you go to list a product from AutoDS, it won't be restricted from being listed. We can then scroll all the way back up and now you can click on add bank account. And from here, you can simply connect your bank account to your eBay store so that once somebody purchases from your eBay store, you can get that money paid into your bank account. You can then just continue and then you will be brought back to your eBay dashboard. And from here, you can actually list an item. Now you might not have an item to list, so just find something in your house that you want to sell, or you can go and buy something from the charity shop to sell, or you can purchase something from AliExpress to sell. So just get an item, a very cheap item that you are going to list so you can set up your eBay store correctly. And then we can start importing products to dropship from AutoDS. So you are just going to click on list an item. You can enter in the name of the product that you want to list. So I've just entered in this baby bath toy well, and then you can click on the search icon. eBay should come up with a match for the product that you want to sell. So I'm just going to go and choose this product here. You can choose the condition of your item. I'm going to choose new and click on continue. You can then upload some photos of your product. So I'm just going to click on add photos and I'm going to select all of these photos and click on open. And you can go and rearrange these photos if you want to. We can then scroll down and we will see the title. Now this will be generated by eBay, so I recommend to just leave it as it is. 
and then we can scroll down to the item specifics and you can go and choose any item specifics that you want to. We can then scroll down and choose the condition and then you can go and write a description. You can go and use eBay's AI description tool. So I'm just gonna click on use AI and then we can simply scroll down and this is where we can actually go and set up the important things that we need to set up so we can connect AutoDS to our eBay store correctly. So you can go and choose your pricing for this product that you're going to list. I'm just gonna go for buy it now and choose the £7.95 recommended price. And then we can simply scroll down and this is where we need to go and set up our policy. So where it says postage policy, we can click on these three dots and you are going to click on create postage policy. From here, we are going to create a postage policy for our store. So once we have set up a postage policy, we can create further postage policies based on the AutoDS products that we are going to import that we want to drop ship. So you can just call this something like standard shipping. Processing takes one to three days. Shipping takes four to 14 days. And then you can just go and choose a flat rate cost. Where it says services, you can simply just go and choose in-house logistics or something similar. So just don't choose a specific shipping courier. So for example, I could choose every, but because our parcels from AutoDS are going to be shipped by a number of different couriers, we are just going to choose in-house logistics. Like I say, choose something similar because it can vary depending on which eBay platform you are using. We are going to enter in a flat rate cost. I've just gone and put in 199. You can go and put your dispatch time in. I'm just going to change this to three working days because most auto DS parcels will be processed within three days. You can then go and choose international postage if you want to sell to different markets. It's totally up to you. And once you have created your postage policy, you can click on save and close. You can now scroll down to the bottom and click on list with displayed fees. Now you may be prompted to also create a returns policy but I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So we are gonna click on list with displayed fees. And now that product has been listed on our eBay store. So our store is almost ready to connect to AutoDS. So we are gonna click on done. And now from here, you are going to click on account and then you are going to scroll down and click on business policies. Now, if you didn't already create a returns policy when you listed your first item, you can click on create policy and choose returns. As you can see, I already have a return policy, so we can click on this. And when you go to create your returns policy, you can just call this all returns allowed within 30 days, 30 day return policy, accept returns, 30 days from the buyer, 30 days from the buyer, and then just click on save. You should also have a payments policy set up. So by default, it will probably say eBay managed payments. So just make sure that this is set up Again, you can go to create policy, click on payment, and you can just call this eBay managed payments. Now I've already got this policy, so I'm going to click on cancel. So now our eBay store is set up correctly and it's ready to connect to our AutoDS account. So we are gonna go over to AutoDS. We are gonna click on add store. We are gonna click on add store again. I'm gonna choose eBay store. I am going to click on continue. And then I am going to choose my eBay target country. Now I'm based in the United Kingdom, so I'm going to choose the UK, but it doesn't really matter which platform you choose, just choose the one that you want to sell on. I'm gonna choose the United Kingdom and click on finish. You will then be prompted to sign into your eBay account. So just click on sign in, and then you will be prompted to grant application access to AutoDS. So just click on agree. Your eBay store will now be connected to your AutoDS account and now you can start importing some products from AutoDS to your eBay store to start drop shipping. So you can go and filter out these products on the AutoDS marketplace. So you can go and choose the ships to and ships from. So if you want to ship from the United States to the United States, these products will generally have slightly faster shipping times. I'm actually just going to get rid of this. You can also choose your currency and the price range of the products that you want to sell and you can also go and choose suppliers. So you can go and choose AutoDS suppliers because AutoDS do have partnerships with various different warehouses. You can also go and filter out the products by fast shipping to find products that actually have extra fast shipping. And then you can go and filter out the products by different categories as well. Once you have done this, you can simply start scrolling through some of these products. 
So I'm actually gonna go to the sports and fitness category. And from here, you can scroll through various different products that you can start drop shipping on eBay. So if I just scroll back up, once you have found a product that you want to start drop shipping on eBay, you can simply just click on the product. And from here, you will see more information about the product. So you will see the shipping price and the shipping and processing times. If you scroll down, you will see more product information. You will see the product specifications. And if you click on policy, you will also see the return policy for the product. So you can see for this particular product, it says returns are prohibited, but that's fine. You still can sell these types of products. And if somebody does want to return it, they can just return it to your eBay store's address and you can try to resell it. But a lot of suppliers will accept returns on Auto DS. So for example, if we have a look at this product and we go to policy, you can see that they have a 30 day return policy. Because this product is a drinking bottle and people can put their mouth on it, that's generally why they probably won't accept returns. So like I say, you can go and have a look at the information about the product. And if you are happy to start drop shipping this product on eBay, you can simply click on import draft. Once you have done that, you can now click on drafts. And from here, you will see the product that you plan to start drop shipping on eBay. If you click on this arrow, you can start editing the product. So firstly, you can go and edit the product title. So if you click on optimize your title, you will be brought over to the eBay title builder. And this tool will help you to optimize your eBay title so that your eBay listings show higher in the eBay search rankings. So you can simply scroll down and enter in some keywords related to the product that you're about to list. You can simply just copy this from the title and then you can go and choose the marketplace. So I'm gonna go for ebay.co.uk and then you can click on search. Once you click on search, you will see all of the keywords that you can use to optimize your title. Now you might need to play around with the keywords. So as you can see, I've just rephrased this to sports water bottle. And now it gives me the average monthly searches, the competition and the sales. So you can then go and use these keywords to build your title. So I could go for gym travel drinking, sports water bottles, etc., etc. Now alternatively, you can actually optimize your titles using AutoDS's AI tool. So you can click on optimize title with AI. You can go and choose your tone and your temperature. So as you can see, we have make it sound more sellable, more funny, balanced, more creative, etc. And then you can simply click on AI write and it will optimize the title for you. You can also do this with the description and you can do it for the title and the description at the same time. So I'm just gonna go and optimize this title now. So I've just gone and rephrased the title. Also make sure that your title is under 80 characters. And now you can scroll down and you will see some more information that you can fill out about your listing. So you will see shipping methods. I recommend to just choose cheapest with tracking. And then you can scroll down and you will see your policies. So you've got your payment policy, your returns policy, and your shipping policy that you've already created on your eBay store. And you will see the country location and default city. Now these are for where the actual product is based. So this product is based in Denver, Colorado. You can also go and choose a brand and make sure that you have stock monitoring, price monitoring, and auto orders turned on. And then you can come over to the description. Again, with the description, you can optimize this using AutoDS's AI tool. And this will help your eBay listings to rank higher in the eBay search listings when somebody types in keywords related to your product. You can then head over to the variants. In here, you can edit each variant of the product. So for this particular product, there's only one variant. So you can click on edit to edit any of the variants. And from here, this is where you can actually decide how much profit you want to make on each variant of the product. So AutoDS will pick up the fees based on your eBay store. So my eBay store is based in the UK and the fees are 13% and a 30 pence flat rate fee. So this would be put, picked up automatically for you. And from here, you can go and decide on the sale price. So as you can see, currently the sale price is £10.66 with a £1.30 profit. You can always round to the nearest 99 cents. So as you can see, it will sell for 10.99. So you can go and sell your variants for whatever price you want to and then you can click on save. If your product does have multiple variants, you can select all of the variants at once and you can bulk edit these variants by clicking on edit. And in here, you can enter in the fees. 
So my fees are 13%. You can enter in your quantity, how much profit you want to make on each variant, the profit percentage and the sell price. Then you simply hit update and it will update all of your variants automatically at once. So I only have one variant, so I am just going to close this. You can then head over to images and from here you can select the images that you want to use for your eBay listing. You can also go and edit these images. So if we click on edit, and if you scroll down, you can go and crop the image, flip it, rotate it, draw on it, add shapes and all of these types of things. And then you can click on save. So I'm just going to select all of these images at once, but you can of course select them one by one by clicking on the icon in the left hand corner. Like I say, I'm just going to select all of the images and then you can move on to item specifications. Now the item specifications will be filled out by default by AutoDS, but you can add any extra specifications if you want to. So you can just click on add item specification. Once you are happy with your product, you can now import it to your eBay store. So you can click on save and import. After a few moments, it should say that the products have been imported to your eBay store. So now you can head over to your eBay store you can go to my eBay, click on selling. And now if you scroll down, you will see the product has automatically been listed by AutoDS. So this product is now live on your eBay store. So you can click on the product. And from here, you will see your product listed on eBay. So now in the next part of the tutorial, I will show you how to go and fulfill your orders once somebody actually purchases the product. So once somebody makes a purchase from your eBay store, the product will look like this. So it will say you sold this item. So now you can head back to AutoDS. You can click on orders and now you will see that order under your orders. Now, if you don't see the order for any reason, you can always contact AutoDS customer service at any point and they are very quick to help you out. Now, in order to fulfill the orders, you might see insufficient funds. So you can click on this and you can click on load balance. You can then choose the amount of balance that you want to load, and this will basically allow you to automatically fulfill all of your orders using your AutoDS balance. So I'm going to choose $50 and click on add account, and then you can enter in your payment details. I'm choosing credit card, but there are PayPal and Payoneer as well. And then you can click on add. Once you have added your payment details, you can click on load balance. The balance will then be added to your AutoDS account, so you can click on done and then on the orders page, you can simply refresh this and then you should see the order pending. Now you might also still see insufficient funds. That's totally fine. If you do just go and choose pending and then you can go and reload the page again. And then now you can click on send to auto order. It will then say in order progress and auto DS will go and fulfill the order for you. And then the tracking number will be added to eBay for you. And that is how you can go and fulfill all of your orders. And now that you have loaded that balance going forward, you can go and automatically fulfill all of your orders directly from eBay. And all of the tracking numbers for those fulfilled orders will automatically be added to your eBay account. So the customer can receive those tracking numbers. So there you have it. That is how you can start drop shipping on eBay using the AutoDS platform. Check out the link in the description to AutoDS to get your 30 day free trial. And if you have enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping and e-commerce content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.